Um, so Hanaro, if we could start with, with Cutter Aviation, um, I just pulled up a few things from the Cutter website and, um, you know, just some of the things that really stood out to me. You know, here we've got, um, you know, some images on your website and we also have a chat window that pulled up and you have great pictures of people um, on the Cutter website all over the place. Um, and that's something that I think is, is kind of unusual, but I really like it. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about how you do that and why you do that. Sure. Uh, well, the reason is because we want to have a, 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 hum, a human element um, to our advertising. Um, it is really nice when, uh, we, when you see uh, people's faces and then you go to a place and then you're, hey, you know what, I saw you on the, on the, on the website, you know. Uh, I was looking for information and I saw you there and hi, my name is so and so. Uh, so it gives you a, a more familiar uh, experience, more 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 warm uh, yeah. to, your, to your to to your company. Now this uh, new is fairly new uh, feature on our website, the, the web chat. Uh, this has been a very successful experience. Um, we, we are always trying different and new ways to, to get leads to our website uh, and, and to our marketing efforts. And this has been really successful. Uh, what this has done, this has increased our conversion ratio dramatically. Before we were getting a lot of visits to our website and they were just getting to our website and just leaving the website. They were not leaving their information, they were not asking for more information, they were not filling out our, our contact forms. Uh, probably they were they were calling us. Um, I'm not saying that that they weren't getting what they needed from the website, but there was no interaction with us. Right. Now with this live chat, um, every time that you go to our website, it's going to pop up. It's going to ask you if you, if you need some help. And depending on the area of the website that you are on, it's going to ask you: Are you interested on an aircraft? Uh, are you looking to book a flight with us, etc.? So it's going to be a little to uh, different areas of our website. And what this has done is that it has increased the number of leads tremendously um, because people feel, you know, uh, if somebody is approaching you, uh, they say, you know what, yes, uh, I need help booking a flight. Uh, you know, how much is it to fly from here to there? Or, you know what, we are flying into Qatar uh, next week. We're going to need a, to rent a car. Can you help us with that? So this has uh, uh, helped us with our conversion ratio. And what we do is every lead that we get from the web chat, it gets logged in our database. So we can later on talk to these people. So that has helped a lot. Excellent. Um, I have actually seen those a lot on the web, especially in the last probably um, eight months to a year. But what I have not seen is that this is Megan, and she wants to help me, and I can see her face. And Sorry. you know, somehow that you know, when that pops up, it makes me smile. Instead of just dismissing this as spam, I go, "There is someone at at, at Cutter, and this might be somebody that I know um, that wants to talk to me." Then of course I'm going to respond differently than if this is a robot. So exactly. mm -hmm. it repositioned the whole customer service from automatic to personal um, just by adding that photo and, and, and probably the name as well. Um, great. So anything else, um, you know, other things about the, the website that I really love um, and about all of your branding is um, your logo is everywhere and it's got that forward motion, you know, from those arrows and then you carry that through on the buttons and and other things, um, you know, the bullets on your, your website and things always have that forward motion, which, you know, kind of shows you Cutter gets you on your way. Right. Um, and so was that the, and I know Cutter's had that logo for a really long time, but I don't know if that's something that you talk about on a regular basis or if you redesign that or freshen that occasionally or? The logo was, uh, was redesigned uh, not too long ago. It was redesigned before I started working here at Cutter. Uh -huh. uh, before it had an arrow, it was it was an arrow uh, that was going through the name. Uh, right. you remember that this company started more than 85 years ago in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So it, it has a Southwest flavor to it. Uh, so it had an arrow before, and then it evolved into a modern arrow, which is the use of the chevrons that, that we have now. 
uh, branding is one of my favorite things. Uh, I like to, I, I really like branding. I like to see our logo everywhere. I like to see our colors everywhere. It creates an identity. It creates a, a sense of belonging. Uh, it, it's an imprint in people's mind. Uh, people's mind, uh, they'll see red, and they'll see the chevrons, they'll associate it with color if we have done our job correctly. So we try to carry uh, those uh, trademarks uh, across all of what we do. If it's going to be a tent uh, for an uh, out uh, outdoor event, the tent is going to be red, and it might have a variation of the logo. The logo might be white or red, but still it's going to be the logo exactly as you see it everywhere else. So we. We try to carry our brand exactly the way it is uh, with everything we do. If it's print, if it's email blast, if it's going to be something online, uh, everything is going to look uh, exactly the same. Fantastic. And also, whenever we see the Cutter guys at any event, they always have the cowboy hats, the white shirts, and the black jeans, <laughs> or you know, some variation of that, which is a great photo opportunity, um, you know, for one thing. And also, it carries your branding from your booth to the bar to wherever your guys go. That's, um, yeah, it, it is funny because um, we 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 thought about doing the cowboy thing because we are located in the southwest. So we said, you know what, what is uh, appropriate for southwest? We said, well, we might be cowboys. So. Uh, we started doing that uh, a couple of years ago, and we started wearing boots. And then from the boots, it evolved to okay, let's wear boots and a and, and a cowboy jacket, and let's have our hats on. Uh, so every time that we go to uh, events, they are expecting to see the cutter cowboys. Right. So it has become a it has become a, like a you know a trademark of us. Exactly. Right. And um, you know that's. Another thing that is just absolutely amazing about you guys. Um, <clears throat> another thing that I don't know how serendipitous this was or if this was planned, but the, the Honda logo is also red. You guys have a, um, a joint marketing uh, effort going on um, with the Honda Jet. And uh, you know your branding seems to mesh really, really well. Um, <clears throat> so of course I have to ask, you know, was that intentional and how did you, how did you pull that off? <laughs> Well, no, it, it was serendipity. Uh, you know, the, the stars align, and the thing is that we are Honda Jet dealers in the Southwest. Right. Uh, we sell the Honda Jet, so we have a, a close relationship with Honda, and we said, okay, uh, let's. Uh, we came up with this promotion, and what we're trying to do with this promotion is to um, increase the upload of fuel uh, with our customers. So. Whenever a customer comes to us, we'll ask them if they want to upgrade. I mean, if they are just putting 80 gallons of, of, of fuel in their airplane, we'll ask them, okay, would you, would you like to go to 100 and get a, an opportunity to win one of these great uh, prices that we are giving away every month? So uh, we say, okay, who's our, the best partner for this? Let's go with Honda. We have a close relationship with them. We, we are a Honda Jet dealer, so we are. It's a cross promotion. It helps us to increase fuel sales. It helps us for uh, brand awareness with the Honda Jet, um, and then we have really nice prices through Honda. So the, everything everything lined up and, and worked out uh, very well. It has been a very successful uh, campaign. It also gives us the opportunity to 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 go and knock on doors and talk to people and say, "Hey, we are doing this. Well, would you like to participate?" Right. I mean, if you have not been to Qatar lately, uh, give us a try. Uh, we have this going on, and then we enter them to win, and we also increase the number of records in our, in our database. So it works. It works very well uh, in in many different ways. Excellent. Great. And uh, yeah, so I think that's a, a a wonderful thing. And then another thing, you know, you look at your your Twitter account or anything else. Um, you know, also you use some some verbal branding, um, energetic and knowledgeable. Um, you know, are the the two things that I think people notice about your folks. Um, but um, the way that you you present visually, um, your you know, you've got a lot of photos and videos even on on Twitter, and I didn't pull those up, but uh, that's also. An interesting thing. One thing we've recommended to our customers is to look at your partner's branding. Um, you know, so that kind of goes back to that Honda Jet. Um, you also have the TVM 900 and the the Piper. Um, you know, as your partners, 
since you're going to be displaying those logos together and you want people to kind of connect those in your mind, what can you borrow as far as colors, fonts, um, elements, visual things from your partners? If you're working with MD helicopters, you may want to use, you know, the big square blocky print, you know, um, other kinds of things that, that kind of kick that, um, kick those triggers in people's minds and think, you know, these guys are associated with those guys. Um, maybe not consciously, but, but subconsciously. Exactly, and these are very well recognized uh, brands in, in, our, in our industry. Mm -hmm. uh, so when they see, uh, you know, and we, we're very careful also on how we utilize uh, their brand because mm -hmm. uh, there are guidelines for uh, logo utilization. So we are very, very careful about that. Mm -hmm. uh, we also send some of the, uh, most of the stuff uh, that we do uh, through the right channels so they can um, uh, take a look at them and make sure that everything is uh, up to par with their guidelines. Uh, but I think that the, the association with these uh, recognized brands and so, and, you know, they, they have so much power that it, it also helps our, our brands. And we're really proud that they are, that they are okay uh, being associated with us as well. Right, right. Um, and then another visual element to this, uh, the map, um, I think, is a, a great image, you know, that shows people um, oriented in space. You know, here is where uh, Cutter does business. And you know you can say that in words, but it doesn't hit the same spot in your brain. <laughs> no, you know, it also it, it also uh, helps a lot for branding. Mm -hmm. uh, we use the same map in different forms, but it's exactly the, the, the same map. Sometimes we use some uh, some states, uh, depending on what we're talking about. Here it's showing all of our locations. Now some of those locations are FBO full service. Some others are just sales office. So some others are just maintenance uh, and sales. So each location has different different services. So depending on what we're doing, we will either show the the map with the with all the states and all the locations, or probably you're gonna, just going to show three states and two locations or things like that. Uh, depends on what we're doing. But the fact of the matter is that it's always the same image. If you have seen the full map, you're going to recognize it if we just use one state. Let's say we're just talking about Texas and our three locations there. The map is just going to be about the state of Texas, but it's going to be it's going to look exactly the same. So that that carries that that carries on our brand as well uh, throughout all of our products. Fantastic. And then one last slide for for Cutter here. Um, you know, you have a staff directory that is more extensive, I think, than any I've seen um, on the web, um, you know, with, with rare exceptions. You do a full biography, um, you know, contact information, and a nice uh, portrait of each of your folks. And I think that just shows a lot of investment in your staff. You know, you obviously can't do that if you have a huge turnover. Um, and, you know, some of our clients are reluctant uh, to do this for um, any number of reasons, but what's been your experience with with doing that, and, and how does that work for you? Well, I, I think that you that you brought up a very good point about it. Uh, we have employees here that they have been uh, with the company for more than forty years, so our turnover on the key um, on the key uh, positions, it's uh, I mean it's, it's really low. I mean we we don't have turnover. Um, people people like uh, working for Cutter, so yes, we, we can invest in them and create these nice pages with all their information. Uh, something else that is unique, and you know, I, I also noticed this when I started working for Cutter, is that uh, we have all the information available uh, for people to contact you. I mean, we have phone numbers, we have fax number, we have email addresses, um, and full bio. There's a lot of companies out there that, for some reason, they don't want they don't want to share the the information or their contact numbers uh, of their employees, which I think is it is a mistake. Uh, we are really open to this, and we are we have a open channel of communication with whoever wants to talk to us. Um, I did want to ask about this the um, the videos that you guys use on uh, on YouTube and other places all look like Cutter videos. Um, and you've got a couple of elements here that make that happen. One is you've got the, the logo in the upper um, left, and you also have the um, uh, subtitles and things, you know, the, the little uh, 
notations across the bottom are in red, you know, using the branding and the, the forward arrows, which uh, looks really good. But uh, anything you want to mention about videos or any suggestions for people when they do those? Well, um, videos are, are great for, for a, a couple of reasons. We have talked that people, people understand uh, communication in different ways. So if you are a video kind of guy, we have something for you too. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Uh, so that uh, videos also help your search and optimization. Uh, like like we talk, as we talked before, uh, people like to uh, make informed decisions. So videos are a great way to do an extensive uh, um, presentation, utilizing video elements, probably uh, still photography. Uh, we also use some time lapses, uh, voiceovers, uh, etc. So this is a, this is an, videos are an amazing tool to showcase any kind of product or service that you might have. Uh, right now, we are producing videos to showcase our aircraft. So um, you know, we're creating like three-minute videos and uh, different shots of the, of the aircraft combined with some still photography, voiceovers, and information on the screen. So if you go to our page and you see uh, an airplane that you like, uh, you might be you know, miles away from here, but you can still see the video and take a look at the, at the, at the aircraft to see if, you, if it's worth your time contacting us and uh, calling us or even flying to see us. Right. Just have been a very, very good tool for us. You know you could.